this is Dish with Trish, and I thought I'd just show you where I live out here in Winter Wonderland. Different footage here for the video that we'll be making in our kitchen. And the sun is out here today, so that is a plus. It doesn't look like the snow is melting very much, though, at this and point. And this is our mailbox, and it is a very interesting mailbox, probably the most interesting on the street. It's taped up at the bottom, taped up at the back end. Um, it still works, but it really does need replaced. I think that's something we ought to do this spring. And this is our house, and all the snow that you see comes along with it. We have a long driveway here. Okay, we're getting closer. My daughter lives in Florida and she's been asking me to, to make a video on um, the snow that we have here. Since she's basking in the sunshine in Florida and doesn't need to worry about this. Okay, that's our driveway. Okay, these snow piles are probably about two foot high at least, not more. We still have our sled on our porch and our decorations from Christmas because they still apply. We really do have a huge snowman in our dining room. He's right here. I'm just gonna spin him around here so you can see him. There he is. My husband has him looking out the window. He's kind of cute. And we'll head on into my kitchen. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what winter wonderland is here in Ohio in case you are living in a more appropriate state like Florida or California or Hawaii. I was trying to think of something that's very healthy to make and what I have not made this week and that would be a fish and the only fish we really eat is salmon. It's a wild caught salmon. This salmon is another one of those keep it simple, stupid recipes. We have it. We're going to go over the ingredients we'll be using for this wonderful salmon recipe. They are not very many either. I want you to know. We have some salmon here, wild caught. We have some soy sauce, a half a cup of that, a half a cup of water. I'm going to use some ginger and some chopped garlic. We're going to pour in to our 8.5 by 13 inch pan over top of our salmon, our soy sauce that is gluten-free. Gluten-free just means there's no wheat in there. And okay, we've added in half a cup of soy sauce, a half cup of water. Now we'll sprinkle in our ground ginger, about a half a teaspoon. You can also use actual ginger root if you'd like, but this is quicker. And then we'll add in about two teaspoons of minced garlic. I always try to have a little of it on top of my salmon. And then the rest just goes into the juice mixture here. Okay, there we have it. You can let this marinate for a half hour just sitting out, or I'm in a rush, so I'm not going to let it marinate. It's still going to be really yummy. We're going to bake our salmon at 400 degrees for about 18 to 24 minutes. There we are, and goes our salmon. We'll also be making our honey mustard salmon glaze to go on top of it. We're only going to be using a few ingredients, so let me tell you what they are. We're gonna use, we'll be using spicy brown mustard, some of this real good horseradish, Honey for my honey bear, Dijon mustard, a pinch of salt, and just a dash of pepper. So let me show you how it's done. Pop in our Dijon mustard. That's two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Ooh, the bottles are about empty. I wanted to double this recipe because it's so good. Everybody complains that I never make enough of it, but it sounds like that's not going to happen with my Dijon mustard. It's about empty. Now we'll add in our spicy brown mustard, and that's one teaspoon. One teaspoon of horseradish. Two tablespoons of my honey bear honey. We have our flame on low heat or our burner. Throw a little pepper on, a pinch of salt, and stir. Let's turn this down to almost warm, just to be able to let all of these ingredients combine together. The honey and this is what really makes this recipe. Now we'll just let our honey sauce simmer for a couple of minutes and we'll be all done. Okay, and here we have it. It's taking me about three minutes to make this sauce and it, it, it's all warmed up and it's all combined together. Mmm, it tastes delicious. 
Just take a little scoop of it and add it to our salmon. Just drizzle it on. And there should be enough here for three pieces of salmon. I don't guarantee there will be enough for more than that. Mm. So I'm going to give this a taste test. Mm. Mm. This is very good. Tastes like it came from a really expensive restaurant. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Dream. I will trust in you, Lord. Let me not be ashamed. You are my light and my salvation, healing rain.